Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to something new. For the first time on this channel, I'm going to try and, and talk a little bit and try and bet the, uh, bet the results for the weekend um, from non-league premier. Um, it's one of you asked me, do I cover this on a neutral basis? No, but I probably will start covering non-league because this table, whoever get promoted, come into League 2, so it helped a little bit with my opinion on certain teams if they come up um, from non League to League 2, just like Nangoyan and Salford City did last season. Um, but anyway, guys, you know what I'm trying to do, trying to get to a thousand subs come May, so come the end of the season. Guys, the best way you could do that is by sharing my videos, letting people know about this channel. And, uh, yeah, you know, let's try and come shit together. If we do, there'll be a special video. And there'll be a big thank you from me as well. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. So you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. And let's go. So the first game I'm going to try and kick off with, the first game I'm going to kick off with, sorry, is Boring Wood versus Fair. fair. Um, sorry if I mispronounced any teams during this video. I, I will try my best, though. Um, Fair's currently sitting in 22nd on non league um, with four wins, four draws, eight losses on 20 points. Believe it or not, that's not the last title ops in um, this season at this stage of you know some seasons in the past. Um, I know F Hardisfield last year, I think they only got 15 points in the Prem, so. You know, but we're sitting in 22nd at the minute. And we're going up against Bournemouth, who are in 11th with seven wins. Uh, yeah, seven wins, three draws, seven losses with 20... Right, sorry, I'll just uh, talk about fair just a minute. They're currently on 16 points. Sorry for the mistake there. Um... Yeah, Fair's coming on 16 points. As I've said, not the last point title I've seen in previous seasons. Boringwood are currently sitting on 24 points. Um, as I've just said, their record looking okay at the playoff spots at the minute. But we're going to have to see how this season plans out. But as far as this game goes, I'll go for a 2-1 boring wood win. My next one is Bromley versus Halifax Town. Um, Bromley are currently in fourth. And Halifax are in first position with 32 points. And Bromley have got 28 points. Uh, very similar records. Halifax has got 10 wins, 2 draws, 5 losses. Bromley have got 9 wins, 1 draw and 6 losses. So there's not a much difference within the stats of these two teams um, going into this weekend's fixtures. But, um, you know, it's going to be a good game. Top of the table clash. Um, you know, this 3 points could roughly put you outside the playoffs or inside the playoffs come the end of the season but as far as this game goes I'll go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Chorley versus Yeovil Town. Now believe it or not I remember when Yeovil Town was in the championship because that's when my local team was in the championship I think the first season my local team were in the championship. I've seen Yeovil play a couple of times when they did play my local team and, you know, where they are now is a big downfall um, from where I used to be. Anyway, Yeovil are in third place with 10 wins, 1 draw, 6 losses and 31 points. Chorley are in 23rd position with 1 win, 10 draws, 6 losses, 13 points. See, you know, that's what I'm saying about less points um, with some of these teams. Um, but, you know, Yeovil possibly looking in the way back into League 2 come the end of the season. Obviously, still a long way to go in this league. And, obviously, 
I know the other leagues as well. Um, but as far as this game goes, I'll go for a 3 0 Yeovil win. My next one is Dugnam and Redbridge versus Wrexham. Dugnam and Redbridge are sitting in 12th position, 6 wins, 6 draws, 4 losses, 24 points. Wrexham are in 21st with 3 wins, 7 draws, 7 losses and 16 points. You know, this is how tight this league is. The first actual time I've actually looked at it, um, and this, from a, you know, um, just a neutral fan's point of view, makes the league look exciting. There's no one horse race in this league. I mean, even if you look between Halifax and all the way down to Woking in seventh place, there's only five points between them. Um, but back to this, which uh, Wrexham in 21st. Sitting on 16 points, a win this weekend, Sutton United lose, they could go outside the relegation zone. Um, Duggan and Redbridge, 24 points, even with a win and results go that their way, they could just sit outside the playoff spots or maybe just inside, we're going to have to wait and see. But as far as this game goes, I'll go for a 2-0 Duggan and Redbridge win. My next one is Dover versus Stockport. Um, uh, Dover, Dover Athletics are in 14th place with 7 wins, 3 draws, 6 losses, 24 points. And Stockport are in 17th place, 6 losses, 3 draws, uh, 6 wins, 3 draws, 7 losses and 21 points. This is how, I mean, how tight this league is. Um, you know, I can't even say which way this table's going to finish up. I reckon, you know, if you want to me keep making these videos, please feel free to put it down in the comments below. And uh, I will do. I do this week in, week out as well, just as I do Premier League, Championship, League 1 and 2. Um, and then that way you can see how the table changes together. Uh, but it's up to you guys whether you want me to keep on doing this. Um, but as far as this game goes, I'll go for a 1 0 scoreline for that one. My next one is Howard Gut versus Aldershot. Aldershot, 19th place, 5 wins, 3 draws, 9 losses, 18 points. Howard Gut, 8th place, 7 wins, 5 draws, 5 losses, 26 points. Just sitting outside the relegation, uh, not the relegation, the playoffs. Um, going into this weekend's fixtures. As so far as this game goes, I'll go for a 2-1 Harrogate win. My next one is Hartlepool United versus Barnet. Hartlepool are sitting in 15th place, 6 wins, 5 draws, 6 losses, 23 points. Barnet are 10th place, 6, six wins, se 7 draws, 4 losses and 25 points. This league is so tight I can't quite believe it. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2-1 scoreline for that one. My next one is Maidenhead United versus Solly Hull. Um, sorry if I mispronounced the team name, I have apologised at the start of this video. Um, Solihull are in 6th place, 8 wins, 3 draws, 6 losses and 27 points. Maidenhead are 16th place, 6 wins, 3 draws, 8 losses, 21 points. So even between uh, Stockport, who are just below Maidenhead on goal difference, and then you go all the way up to Woking in 7th. That is only 6 points between them. 2 wins and 2 slip ups from the opposite, opposite team could put you in there. Um, but as far as this game goes, I'll go for a 2-1 solid hole win. My next one is Sutton United 
versus Ebbs Feed. Um, Ebbs Feed are currently bottom of the table, 10 points, 2 wins, 4, four draws, 11 losses, a goal difference of minus 15. Um, Sutton United, 20th position, 3, draw, uh, three wins, 7 draws, 6 losses, 16 points. See, even between Chorley in 23rd and Sutton United, that's three points. A win this weekend and a slip up from other teams could see you outside that relegation zone. But as far as this game goes, I'll go for a nil-nil scoreline for that one. My next one is Torquay United versus Borough. Um, Borough are fourth with nine wins, one draw, six losses, 28 points. Torquay are 7 wins, 4 draws, 6 losses, 25 points. Um, this one, this, I know I keep on saying in this video, um, it is so tight, I'm finding it hard to believe. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2 2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Woking versus Eastley. EC of 13th with 6 wins, 6 draws, 5 losses, 24 points. Woken are 7th position just sitting inside the playoffs with 7 wins, 6 draws, 4 losses, 27 points. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2-1 Woken win. My last one for this weekend is Chesterfield versus Notts County. Uh, yet again, Notts County is a team that I've played, I've seen play quite a few times, and Notts County are currently in fifth position with seven wins, six draws, four losses, 27 points. Chesterfield, 18th position, uh, four wins, six draws, seven losses, 18 points. Um, as I said, this title is so tight, and it's what, 18 games? 18 games for most teams, 17. Uh, obviously, some got catch up games, but as far as this game goes, I'll go for a 3 0 Notts County win. Anyway, guys, you know what? Do you give this video, uh, give this video a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.